Okay, so I really like the simplicity of this without the balustrade because when you put the balustrade there, you've just got this, especially if you're sat here, you're going to have a line right across the middle. I think I'm going to bring this down a bit and cut it down. If it's not stable enough, I might need to put some kind of metal bar across the top, but something really as thin as possible to make it very minimal. Oh, this is a nightmare. So I've just been digging gravel out of this bag, which has been here for about 18 months. And I put gravel on the drive to stop it getting muddy. It's been so wet, it's really muddy. Found a dormouse. It's like a, it's a Loire, in fact. It's a Loire, which is like a mix between a squirrel and a mouse. And it's hibernating in the rocks. It's actually dug down into the uh, gravel and it's hibernating. I'm going to try and dig a hole here on this side. I'm going to just use the gravel on this side and I'm going to try and rebury him over here. He was really down deep. Like I've already taken four wheelbarrows out of this bag. So he was really like right in there, really down deep. So I think I'm going to try, or maybe I'm just going to put him back where he was. Just make a hole and cover him up. I hope he's the only one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, little one. Just can't believe this. I feel like I ought to put some straw or something, but he seemed happy, so... Oh, this is crazy. Am I doing the right thing? I don't know. Am I doing the right thing? He was literally in there like that. Okay, I'm going to put a marker so I know where not to dig. Do not dig there. Oh, I hope there aren't any more. Crazy. I'm freaked out. So we're in the cave of the house where I live and it's a 1700s French townhouse so several stories high and it's got really big caves underneath. I've come here to do this because I've changed the plan for the balustrade. I'm going to do it entirely in metal and I've bought some of this, uh, I guess you'd call it rebar in English, and I'm going to use this as the top and bottom support of the balustrade and then I'm going to attach the wire mesh that I bought to it. I'm going to put a rust cleaning product on tonight and then I'll have an undercoat and probably two coats of paint. I decided to bring it here and do it because the temperature is really stable. Of course it's a wine cellar, right? Um, we've also got our central heating system down here. So um, to paint this, it, the metal needs to be around 15 degrees minimum and there's just no way that was going to happen at the cabin.
So I've got some guys that have come today to help me take down the pine trees behind the cabin that are dead. About half of them are dead. And the other day, one of them very nearly fell onto the cabin. down also the stumps that were here which were very much in the line of view uh, from the inside of the cabin and the plan is also to take out these dead trees here and we're going to take out all the brambles that run along this section which means hopefully that when I'm inside the cabin I'll have a view directly into the forest. I'm just cutting these uh, ivy roots because these two trees are being massively invaded by ivy. If I leave it, there's a good chance that that's going to uh, have a negative impact on the health of the tree. And this is not, this is not very uh, sharp. <laughs> Very nice. Good. Oh god, it's so much better. I'm gonna miss the sweet sweet meal. A good day today, got loads done. Uh, Joe popped by to help me cut down the terrace posts, which we had planned to do when we put them up and we never got round to it. And uh, I was nervous to do it on my own. I spoke to him about it. I just was nervous about cutting it off and not getting a straight cut. And so he very kindly popped over to do that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy it looks loads better. Even just leveling up the post looks loads and loads and loads better. So that's really great.
yeah, we've still got lots of uh, trees to come down, unfortunately. Probably two, two whole days of work to come. Yeah, it's great. Really good day. Really, really good day. I'm absolutely exhausted, <laughs> but happy. It's finished and I'm really happy with it. It's not taking me that long to, to put it together, probably a day and a half. It's been a really affordable option. The metal grill was about 25 euros. The big bars at the top were 26 euros and the paint was 20 euros. Yeah, so less than 100 euros, but around 100 dollars for the whole lot. Much cheaper than what I saw on the internet that I could buy that was ready made and much more streamlined. It feels sturdy. It honestly doesn't feel like you're going to fall if you were to run at this even. I, de I definitely think you would bounce off it as opposed to going over the edge. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you like it? What would you have done? What do you think I could have done better? I'm very open to your feedback. But the next project's really going to be the interior. I'm gonna crack on with the uh, fitting out the inside and getting that ready so that I can really enjoy the cabin this summer. Yeah, it's been great. I'm happy with this project. It's been a nice little short project. I can't wait to come back and uh, keep going. Thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing and hit the bell. Drop me a little comment, say hi. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you really soon.